friends welcome back to my channel for the people who have already subscribed my channel and for the people who have recently found my channel a hearty welcome to this channel i am yashwadan an electronic enthusiast and electronic engineer who likes to who, li who likes to explain about the different electronic circuits and their components from this video along with the regular videos where i uh, do the circuit simulation here i will be talking about some of the most important um, problems that will be asked in many of the competitive as well as in the engineering examinations so to begin uh, examination in different subjects so today to begin with today i will be explaining about the finding the circular convolution using the concentric circular method or the stock hammond's method uh, in almost all the DS, uh, digital signal processing question this question is a compulsory question it can be in any kind of examination so in order to find the circular conversion between two different uh, signals there are different methods that are available out of which one of the method is the circular concentric, concentric circuit method or the stock hammond's method so in this method <coughs> And to remember that whenever we do the circular convolution of any two signals, always you need to make sure when both the signals are of equal length. Suppose if this signal uh, here I have taken in the example I have taken both the sequence of equal length, but if they if suppose at the same x one is uh, having only three 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 uh, three values, whereas x two is having four values, then you should add a zero at the last digit also. So that they both will have the same value. So then, uh, based on that, you need to do it. So how we will be doing is that first of all, as we need, as we have four uh, four sequences, total we get four outputs. Y one will have four value, four value. That is y one output. Let us say the output is y of n. Then it will have four uh, four sequences. One is y of zero, y of one, y of two, y of three, and y of four. So I have drawn four concentric circles. In the inner circle, you need to include the first sequence. That is your x1 of n. How we will be including is that you need to divide this into four types, like this. Same thing you do with the outer circle. Here, this will be x1 of zero. This is x1 of one. This will be x2, x1 of two, and this will be x1 of three. And the outer circle you need to fill with x two. How we are doing here? It will be x two of zero. And in the inner circle, when we are writing, uh, when we are writing the value initially, we are going in this this direction. Whereas in the outer circle, you need to go in in this direction. So x two of zero. Here it will be x two of one. Here it will be x two of two, and this will be x two of three. So first, let's just write the values. Here, x one of one is this is one, x two of this is two, this is two, and this will be the one that is according to the given question. This is x of z, x one of zero, x two of x one of one, x one of two, x one of three. This is the thing. Similarly, let us write the x two. We need x two of zero here. X two of zero is one. So let us write here one. X two of uh, one, which is two. X two of three. This is three, and uh, you have x two of three, which is four here. Now to find y of zero, uh, it is nothing but just multiplying that. So you need to have one into one. So one plus two. Uh, one plus. You need to go into the side. One into two. Two. Three. Three to six plus four to the eight. So total you will get the y one as. Uh, you have. Okay. Nine nine plus eight, which is seventeen, if I am not wrong. Similarly, that now, so you get y of zero. Now you may ask me how we get y of n. Just keep the inner circle as it is. Keep the inner circle values as it is. That is, this is x one of zero only. This is x one of one only. This is x one of two only. Sorry, sorry. This is x one of one, and this is x one of two, and this is x one of three. But the outer circle, you move in this direction. Now keep the x one as it is. Now move the x two. How you are moving? You uh, the position will be the same. Just you need to move these values in this direction. That is here. The x 
you have x2 of 0 right in the next step what happens this x2 of 0 will come here this x2 of 3 will come here this x2 of 2 will come here and this x2 of uh, 1 will go here that is you are just uh, in the second to find y of 1 just keep the inner circle as it is move the outer circle in, in this direction that is like this this one goes here this value comes here this value comes here now let us write the values again 1 this is 2 this is 2 this is 1 similarly here also uh, this is 2 this is 1 this is 4 and this is 3 now find y of 1 which is nothing but just multiply which is 2 plus 3 plus 4 to z plus 2 which is nothing but 15 if I am not wrong yes similarly let us find y now we have found uh, y1 of y of 1 now find y of 2 and y of 3 also I will be just doing that here similarly this is x1 of 0 only this is x1 of 1 x1 of uh, 2 and this is x1 of 3 similarly that's uh, this is the outer plane and again you will be moving in this direction so this will be x2 of 1 this is x2 of 0 this is x2 of 3 and this is x2 of 2 right now again write the values 1 this is 2 this is 2 this is 1 and the outer values are uh, this is 3 2 1 and this is 4 now uh, let us plot y of 2 which will be 3 plus 4 plus 2 into 1 which is nothing but uh, 2 plus 4 which is 8 10 which is 13 ok similarly let us find the last value also same thing I will be here ok this is uh, x1 of 0 x1 of 1 x1 of 2 and this is x1 of 3 similarly if I move this here this will be x2 of 2 this is x2 of 1 this is x2 of 0 and this is x2 of 3 now again the values if I write it will be 2 and this is 1 now from 3 if I write 4 3 2 and this is 1 so from this y of 4 will become 4 plus 1 plus 4 I plus 6 which is nothing but 15 so finally my y of n that is the output will become 17 15 13 and another 15 this is the value so this is how you are going to do the circle convolution circle convolution of two signals whenever using the concentric circular method i hope you have gained a good understanding about this topic if you like my explanation please like this video share it with your friends and do subscribe my channel to see more such videos it helps me it helps me a lot now thanks for watching friends and I'll meet you again in a new video with a new concept. Until then, uh, keep learning. Thank you.